Night Sky on Prime Video may not be the most high octane of sci-fi thrillers, but that season 1 conclusion was a banger. Franklin and Irene York have been through a lot, but after smoothing out a few kinks in their relationship, they're ready to move on to the next chapter. In space, put your diving helmets on and plunge into this concluding explanation. Let's also take a look at some of the unanswered questions. Byron is still nowhere to be found. After persuading his new friend Frank to let him go out into the open on the alien planet, Byron ultimately goes beyond the range of Frank's walkie-talkie. Frank returns to the observatory and attempts to contact Byron once more, but to no avail. Where did Byron vanish to? Is there anything out there on that planet? Frank asks Jude the same inquiry, to which Jude replies, Nothing. Jude, we all know you're lying. Tony finds her father's identity. Tony is often mentioned as inheriting her family's heritage, but no one ever takes the time to clarify what that means. Well, until Cornelius complies for his own gain. He says, you are so near to God and you don't even realize it. Cornelius admits that Caleb is Tony's father, which explains Stella's reaction when Nick mentioned him earlier. What happened to Caleb? It appears to be at a place named Carol, which is a complete mystery. We know Cornelius wants Tony to accompany him. Stella locates the person she seeks. Jude, dubbed the apostate, is the person Stella and Nick have been hunting for all this time. This is the term for someone who abandons their religion or beliefs, which is what Jude did in order to get away. Jude offers himself over to Stella, who we learn is a guardian, in order to safeguard the Yorks. Her mission, to assassinate the apostate, Jude discloses that he knows Stella during their not-so-friendly conversation. She first met his mother when he was a small child. Jude continues to harass Stella, implying that a ritual was going place, likely involving the Guardians. The Guardians were always a mystery to me. All that suffering. For what? To safeguard something they'll never completely understand. Stella and Tony channel their inner Thelma and Louise. Stella decides to flee the Guardians after refusing to kill Jude and placate Tony. She and Tony make the decision to leave their home in Argentina as well as their community and beliefs. This puts them in severe danger, but they do have a negotiating chip in the form of Cornelius, who they may give up to stop the Guardians from pursuing them. Jude has a strategy. In his book of the Count of Monte Cristo, which he left for Jude at Hannah's B&B, Jude discovers an address from his father, Gabriel. Jude enters the coordinates, which appear to be written in an alien language, into the control panel of the chamber, hoping that they would direct him and his new journey partner Denise to his father. They enter the chamber and are transported to Thailand, specifically Bangkok. Hannah, who are you? We already knew the talkative B&B host wasn't who she appeared. All all, who would expect a hidden surveillance room and a behind-the-scenes staffer to be watching the York's every move? Hannah chats with Cornelius after she and the rest of her strange gang append Stella and Tony's van. And we learn that Hannah is another fugitive apostate. Hannah replies creepily, Welcome to the fallen world. What exactly does she plan for Stella, Tony, and Cornelius? A trip to the stars. Frank, not learning from Byron's arrogance, sets out across the rugged landscape of the alien world. Beyond the range of Irene's walkie-talkie, he comes upon a body dressed in an old-fashioned shirt with many stitching. A knife protrudes from his torso. When Frank's air supply runs out, he takes a snooze until Irene arrives to save him. The major surprise follows. Irene and Frank, able to breathe without the need of an oxygen tank. Hear distant ringing bells and gaze over the next ridge to a lovely civilization partially wrapped in domed walls. Is this the city of Kural? It appears to be a type of promised land, bestowed by a god to the inhabitants. There are several unanswered questions. That season finale sets the stage beautifully for a major second season, which may see the Yorks and co. Seek down numerous lost persons who have moved across Earth via chambers or to the strange planet. Byron, Gabriel, and Caleb's families are all concerned about their location. Hannah might be the season's new villain, even if she also battles the Guardians. What about those ancient coins? Do they hail from another planet? Finally, we still don't sure what the chambers are for in general. All we know is that they're all linked together like a network of doors. What is the overall picture? Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.